Hello guys and welcome to the Hackanons YouTube channel. I'm Carl and in today's video we will unlearn how to convert text to handwriting using the PyWatt kit present in Python. So let's try to understand what is the PyWatt kit module all about. PyWatt kit module has this ability to perform certain tasks using Python. Some of these tasks are like sending WhatsApp messages, playing YouTube videos, performing Google search or getting information about a particular topic. However, in this video, we will be talking about how do we convert our text to handwriting using this module. So first things first, we need to import our package. So I'll simply go in my command prompt and I'll say pip install pywatkit. You could also say pip3 install, but I'm, I'll just write down pip install. And it's really important to have Python added to your command or else this command is not going to work. Press enter and I've got pywatkit present in my desktop. Now that I got pywatkit installed, the first thing is what I would like to show you all is I've gone on my desktop and I've created this folder called as code folder. And if I click that, you can see I've got some files open with me, some images, Python image, a text file and a Python file. So it's really important to keep your code present inside a folder or otherwise sometimes due to some errors in this code, your image will not get converted and you will not have the desired output. So I would suggest you to create a folder and work inside the folder rather than just working on the desktop. So now that I've opened the file that I'm working on, so it's in the path called code folder main.py. Let's try writing our code. So the first thing what I'll say is import pywatkit. So it pretty much in, imports the module. And now I'll simply call a function. Before that, I'll just say pywatkit dot text underscore to underscore handwriting. Okay. So this is the function. And the function takes in two arguments. One would be our text and something called as RGB, which I'm not going to talk for the moment. So first thing is now that I've created a variable called as text, I shall define the variable text. So I'll say text is equal to, and now I can write anything, whatever I wanted to be converted to handwriting. So basically the text will be a string data type. For example, I'll say, hello coders, welcome to hack and Odds. Okay. So this is pretty simple. I just want to show you how it's working. And in the argument, I'll type put in text variable. And now I shall simply run the file. And as you can see, the program is executed and there's no errors, which means the image will be present inside our folder. So let's go to our folder, code folder. And as you can see, a file called as pywatkit is present. So let me just open that. And wow, you can see a handwriting that says, hello coders, welcome to Hackin' On. So isn't it cool that we just took some text and saved it in a string and that got converted to handwriting. Let's say you do not like the text color that is being present in the output of the image. Well, you can make changes in that. And that is where the second argument works. And the second argument is simply says RGB is equal to, and then you open a list, open, close your list and you specify in three numbers. Okay. So the first number in the list will specify the amount of red that will be present in your output. The second text will be the amount of the green that will be present inside your output. And the last number will be the amount of blue color ink present in your output. So let's try to make some changes here. Let's say I'll put 255 and I don't know, let me try 50. And let me re leave red to a value of zero. And now let me run this file and let's see what happens. So as you can see, the code is completed and the program is executed. So let's go to our folder where we were working around. And as you can see, it's overwritten over it. And woohoo, now the text color is changed to green. Well, it's the reason it is turned to green since we changed its RGB value to 255. Hence, a lot of green is visible in our text. So, you know, you can also make changes in your text color using the RGB argument present 
inside this function. So if you like this video, do drop a like, subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel and press the bell icon for further notifications when we upload our new video.